Why do we cry? It is estimated that the average person sheds about 18.5 gallons of tears during their lifetime. Of those, 50% of tears from grief, 21% of tears from happiness and joy, and all other tears from physical pain or other factors. Men cry five times less than other women but not because they are so cool and collected, just the hormone testosterone reduces tearfulness in the male sex. The tear factor is located in the lacrimal glands in the upper eyelids of the eyes. Part of the resulting tear fluid is used to lubricate the eyeball. The other part enters the nasal lacrimal duct, two tiny tubes between the nose and eyes, and the nasal canal opening is located in the inner surface of the lower eyelid, and you can see it with the naked eye. The nasal lacrimal canal causes excess tear fluid to drain into the nose. Therefore, when your eyes are watering, a thin fluid begins to flow from your nose. If there is so much lacrimal fluid that the nasal lacrimal canal is not able to direct it to the nose, tears are formed that roll down the cheeks. Whether there are few or many, tears can solve several problems. Task number one, hydration. Dry eyes are the direct path to vision loss. So with insufficient moisture, doctors even prescribe artificial tears. You must have tasted your tears and know that they are salty. Tear fluid contains about 1% common sodium chloride salt and about 0.8% of other mineral salts. The salinity of tears is what helps keep your eyes moist. Moisturizing also explains why your eyes water in a strong wind. Gusts of air dry the eye surface and the lacrimal glands begin to actively produce fluid. Pass number two, protection. Tears wash eyelashes, dust, small particles, corrosive substances, and smoke out of the eyes. In addition, the composition of lacrimal fluid encloses the substance lysosamine, which protects the eyes from pathogenic bacteria and microbes. Task number three, evolution. Scientists believe that the ability to cry with tears appeared in humans during the process of evolution. Quiet crying does not reveal a person to the enemy, in contrast to the howling and whining inherent of wild animals. Task number four, emotions. Tears are an external manifestation of strong feelings and emotional excitement, a way to relieve nervous tension. Amazingly, the chemical composition of tears differs depending on the reason you are crying. <laughs> For example, in tears caused by emotional shock, the content of protein, manganese, and prolactin will be higher in the tears caused by something in the eye. Crying also helps to relax the stress and emotional pain. Tears help to wash the adrenocortotropic hormone, which contributes to synthesis of the stress hormone out of the body. Decide to relax and have a good cry from the heart. Here's to health. Just don't lie in your back. Tears will flow into your ears and it'll be ticklish. We hope everyone cries only from happiness. Subscribe to our channel and we will try to make you at least a little bit happier.